for goodness sake, if you've had a plate put in your, in your leg, you've had a plate, you've had some fixation for a open reduction internal fixation, we do a plain x-ray afterwards to check everything's in the right position. And I think we should be doing that automatically for these until we know who the surgeon their tunnel is and some consistency. And I'll be honest with you, we do it time and time again where I had a patient today and I said, the position's terrible. You're now three months post-op. I couldn't. And by the way, what's interesting, this patient had the wrong tunnel position and it's the reason why we couldn't get their knee straight um, in the first part of their physio. A lack of knee extension a lack of knee extension is a very good indication that they have what we call an anterior tibial tunnel and an anterior femoral tunnel. And everybody go, oh, it's just that it's a tight graph. We can't get it straight. It's usually actually due to poor tunnel position. It's interesting if somebody was to have what we call a vertical tunnel. And so when we actually look up on, a, on a, an X-ray, an AP X-ray, and we have a tunnel that goes to vertically, when we do the measurements, um, that equates to a positive pivot test post ACL reconstructive surgery. So if someone was to, we go through and we measure them every time they come in and we start measuring their pivot, which is a type of test looking at uh, knee stability, and it's positive, often that's due to a vertical femoral tunnel. So um, without a doubt, the tunnel, you know, we can, it's easy to measure tunnel positioning, uh, inexpensive, and it's highly accurate. 